Hi there, everyone. Um, so today I am going to show you how to set up the Anycubic Cobra Max on your Windows PC. Um, I don't have a Mac, so I can't really go into details on that. And I'm sure there's other videos that can describe that. Um, and so when I brought the Cobra Max, obviously going onto Cura, um, going into the manage uh, printers, it doesn't have the Anycubic Cobra Max. So uh, the description in the uh, paperwork that was given to us by Anycubic basically goes into detail um, as to what profile to select. And what I'm going to do today is to show you what I went through to get the basics. Obviously, as we go on and there's more Anycubic Cobra Max users and owners, they're going to obviously upload their own profiles. And hopefully in the near future, Anycubic will actually upload a proper profile onto Ultimaker Cure. So let's begin. So what you want to do, these are my printers that we have. I've already got the Cobra Max set up, but we're going to go and do a dummy run just so that anyone who's never used Cura or is just new to setting up the Cobra Max, we'll just make it a little bit more simple for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Manage Printers, click on that, and we're going to add a new printer. And what that's going to show you is a screen with the icon of Add Printer. Now we know that this Anycubic Cobra Max isn't a network printer. So what we're going to do is scroll down and you've got Add Network Printer. So you want to click on that. And you've got the various makers. Um, we have the Anycubic, which is obviously our machine here. And as you can see, going through that, none of the ones that we are hoping for today. I mean, the Anycubic Viper is probably quite close. You would have to change the beds um, and the bed size and the Z height. But what we're going to do instead is we're going to go by what the paperwork says and we're going to choose custom and we're going to choose custom FFF printer. And over here, you can change the printer name. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to call it Anycubic Cobra Max. We're going to call it test because I don't want to change my profile, although it will, will be the same. Click add. It will take a few minutes. And it will bring up a screen with these details. And these are your machine settings. Um, obviously, we called it, called it the Anycubic Cobra Max test. Uh, we know that the printer settings and sizes are the following. We have 400, but we go for 402. That just adds, adds a little bit extra on there. So you, you never go right up to the edge of the build plate anyway. Well, I certainly don't. Um, and the same again with the Y. There we go for, for 402 millimeters again. Now the Z height is 450 mil. So we're, we're, at the moment we're going to go for... 452 mil and that will now as you can see in the background of this um, machine settings tab will actually show the new build plate it takes a while to load as you can see the z height's a lot higher and this is your now setup build plate for the any cobra cobra max um obviously it's heated bed so you want to select that Sorry about the time it's taking. Um, we don't need to worry about the origin at center or the heated bed volume. Um, it's G-code as Marlin, don't change that. And all of these printer head settings, keep these the same. Now, um, to start G-code and end G-code, I would keep that as it is for now. I know that there are some users that have um, new start G-code and an end G-code. Um, and one of those is Zombie3D. He's uh, been helping me out recently. And uh, if you don't know him, I'm going to leave his link in my description. Um, check out his videos. They're, they're, they're brilliant. Um, I've definitely used those. And um, selecting the Anycubic Cobra Max 
to purchase was actually based on some of his videos. So thank you for that, Will. Um, yeah, so he's uh, he's got a profile that he's happy to share um, for your G code start and end. Give him a shout. No, he's certainly great at what he does. So um, moving back on to the machine settings, all of these, as I say, keep these the same. And then what you've got is your nozzle size. Now the Anycubic Cobra Max comes with a standard 0.4 Vulcan um, filling head. So keep that the same. Now you'll notice on here, the diameter of the filament is set as 2.85. Now you definitely want to make sure you change that as this was a custom printer. And we all know that basic filament size is 1.75 millimeter. You don't need to change the offset for the X and Y and the cooling fan number is to just keep that a zero. The extruder start code and G code end, don't change that. So let's just go back, click on printer again. And you'll notice when I hover over that, it comes up with um, the Ultimator Cura settings guide. And what that does is just gives you a brief description of of what you're hover, hovering your uh, mouse over, really. And that just gives some detail. Um, I've, I've added that um, based on someone's advice. Um, I'm quite new to Cura. Um, I was struggling a bit with some of the dimensions and settings on the actual page itself. So I just wanted to use that and make sure that I understood. Um, after a while, it gets a bit annoying because, as you can see, it, it kind of blocks off some of the the important details but if you hover over the particular one that you're selecting it, it, it makes sure that it shows that information so it's not too much of a bother but i think what i find more frustrating is that it just flicks up and in front of your panel i don't know why it doesn't just go off to the left or the right out off, off screen but um yeah so let's just go back to this so we've got 402 402 on the x and y we've got 452 on the z um don't worry about the bill plate shape, that's fine. Um, you'll see that it's um, circle, so obviously they're the uh, the other printers that we've got. Um, so keep that, and as I said earlier, keep the heated bed, and don't worry about the G-code and N-code. So yeah, next, we're quite happy with that. So as you can see now, it's selected um, the Cobra Max test. Um, what we want to do is when you actually do that, it's actually activated. Just close that screen and you'll see up into this top left hand corner. This tab here is basically all of your printers that you have loaded up onto your profile. As you can see, we've got all my different variations and the one that we've selected today is the Cobra Max test. And then over to the middle, you've got the generic PLA. I wouldn't really change that unless you have a specific filament that you want to work with or if you want to set up some of your profiles specific to some of your best filaments that you use. Um, me personally, I just stick for the generic and that's already set up as PLA. Now you do have ABS and PETG. Um, I haven't used those yet on this. Um, however, I'm going to, I've got some filament that I'm going to use on the PETG. So I'm just going to give that a go. And then what you will find, so yeah, You've got your main screen now and the dimensions are set up. As you can see, it's quite a, a large build volume, certainly enough to make some large full scale um, masks and hats and um, any other sort of large volume build that you're interested in. The other thing with this is the, this, this guide here, your X, Y and Z, that's effectively the front of the build plate. So when you're doing this, just remember that always have this at the front that will be your front if you certainly if you want to take any videos or photos of your um, item that you're making it's nice to take frontal photos rather than trying to lean over especially the way I've got my printer in the back as you can see the front is there and the back is obviously towards the back of my log cabin so you can't really see it um, but yeah keep that um, and then what you want to do is we're going to go over to um, where are we? So we're going to go over to this again and we're going to, oh, wrong screen, sorry. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the print 
settings. These are the ones that you're actually set up. So this is generic. As you can see, it gives you extra fine, fine, normal, draft, extra fast, coarse. I'd say the extra coarse isn't a possible figure at the moment with your 0.4 nozzle. As you can imagine, you're not going to achieve a 0.6 fill line, you're, you, you're only really going to work with coarse 0.4, which in the old terms, it used to be just, I don't know, experimental type test if you don't want it too fine, if it's, if it's a big build and you're not really worried about the actual look of it. Um, so what we're going to do is look at putting a custom profile. Now, as you can see, I've got a few custom profiles already. Um, the suggested parameters for PLA was actually on my disk, my 8 gig disk that I received with my actual AnyCubic Cuba Max, Cobra Max, sorry, um, assembly pack. So in there you will have your 8 gig SIM memory card and, and with that memory card you're using that to set up and this you can transfer. And how you do that is quite simple really. So you go to manage profiles and you'll come up with a profiles box. And as you can see, this is my default. And these are my custom profiles. As you can see also, as I, I suggested earlier, definitely um, head over to Studio Zombie. Um, he's brilliant. Zombie 3D. These are some of his custom profiles that he's kindly shared with me. They're not, um, you're not able to find them readily on the internet. So definitely search him up on YouTube. As I say, I'll leave a... A suggested link there and he'd be more than happy to help you out he certainly helped me out um, and what we want to do is we want to import and that will open up your profile so we've already done some downloads today so we're going to click on that and you'll see that I downloaded two of the zombie 3d profiles so what you want to do is click on one of those and click open and you'll get a notification saying it's successfully imported and you'll click OK. Now I've already imported that so you'll see it as a hashtag two. That just means I've got a double of the same same name. And in that profile, it will give you some of the basic global settings. These are some of the settings that are based basic in there. So that's how you import a custom profile. Now, as I said, the suggest, suggested parameters for PLA, this was actually on the disk. So that's what you want to import. Because obviously the custom profiles will be empty and there won't be any there. Now, if you have too many and you've got some duplicates, quite simple, the same way as you imported it. Um, if you want to remove it, just click on remove. And yes, and then that's gone. So you can have a profile specific for all of your machines, but also specific for a particular job that you're doing, if it's a fine job, if it's something that you want excellent detail, then yeah, you want to select that. It's better than having to make changes individually at each time. And with this, as you can see here, if you close this down, so when you click on the profiles, I've got all of the same details there, but I've also got my Cobra, uh, sorry, custom profiles there. And what you can do is just click on each one and it will bring up specifically set up for that um, and going through you've got all your settings under that profile so that's just a quick video to overview how to set up cura with the anycubic cobra max so what we've gone through uh, just quickly is the end add in the machine so as i say click on manage printers um, check in your generic pla or if you wanted to add a, um, a specific brand click on the middle and then once you've set it up and you've got your build volume correct, say it should be um, 402 by 402 by 452. As I said earlier, the two mil is just to give you that extra dimension. And then when you come over here, install your print setting, so profiles. Um, make sure you click on this drop down screen and manage profiles. Import, as I said, make sure you do that. And then if it's a um, a WinZip file or a zip file, just make sure you unzip it because it won't read it. Otherwise, it won't it won't pick up that from a zip file. Just make sure it's available and you're good to go. And and that's it. So thank you for watching and um, like and subscribe.
um, to 3DBUK. Uh, take care. <laughs>